Okay, um, mobile phones, phone chargers, playstations, cameras, saunas, thermometers, refrigerators, freezers, toasters, kettles, microwaves, irons, air fresheners, clocks, watches, electric toothbrushes, DVD players, vacuum cleaners, children's toys, video games, medical devices, televisions, remote controls, calculators, heaters, tumble dryers and washing machines. Well, that's just to name a few, because all of these appliances and many, many more will undoubtedly rise in price as a result of this waste directive. And to think that the European Union is prepared to pile this legislation on just at a time when we're in the depths of a recession and when people are struggling to make ends meet. I therefore encourage everyone in this chamber to show sympathy with the hard-working taxpayers and with small to medium-sized businesses and put this prospective law in the waste bin. Thank you. Where, where the cost will end up, and it always does. It doesn't necessarily have to say it in the directive, because it never does. You never tell people that you're going to put up tax. You never tell people that you're going to hit them in the pockets. I mean, my country, for example, it costs us £50 million a day to be members of this club. The key, the key to all of this is, and I go back to exactly what I said to Chris, decisions should be made at a na nation-state level by politicians who are accountable to the electorate. No, not, the electorate of my country, of Great Britain, cannot remove commissioners. That is fundamentally undemocratic and it is wrong.